This is Radio Free Hillsdale, 101.7 FM. I'm Scott Bertram, and with me right now is State Senator Mike Shirky. Senator, how are you? Good morning, Scott. I am doing great. I mean, how can you not be doing great on a Monday morning when the it's as beautiful out as it is in this Michigan spring day. Uh, not bad at all. Uh, although uh, the the Saturday warmth was a little more than I wanted this early in the season, but uh, <laughs> we're getting back to where we should be at uh, for for May. Uh, yeah. Senator Mike Shirky representing Michigan's 16th State Senate District branch, Hillsdale, Jackson counties. SenatorMikeShirky dot com. Find him on Facebook as well. Just look for Senator Mike Shirky. We took a deep dive into the uh, the Medicaid work requirement bill that you uh, sponsored in the Senate. It's made it through the Senate. It's now heading to the House. And you mentioned you thought that Governor Snyder would be on board eventually with perhaps some changes, some adjustments. And I saw a story from late last week that said the House Speaker is now on board and in support of the bill, still working on some amendments and changes. What's the latest update you can give us? Thanks for asking. This is a really important piece of legislation uh, for our economy and for our culture in Michigan. I can report, I'm pleased to report to you that we had a very productive meeting with the governor's staff and the department last week. We're having a follow up this week on Tuesday. Uh, we're now down to the fine tuning and in, in the, uh, in the, in the, in the small, I will say small differences that we have and i am i mean just as confident as i was uh, last time we spoke that governor will eventually get on board uh, he need he is he's been very good about letting the legislative process play out and this is just another example so we'll get it through the house here in a couple of weeks i gave a, a, a testimony last week in front of the house appropriations committee which was the committee that the bill was assigned to and which is the largest committee in the house and it also has uh, i don't know i think 10 or 12 the Democrats on the committee, and so they 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 agreed be pretty good. Uh, but at the end, they had a hard time acknowledging uh, disagreeing with the, with the fact that this is not punitive. And in fact, I've stated over and over again, Scott, that if we get a 300,000 or so folks who are currently able-bodied on Medicaid working 10 to 20 more hours a week than they're working today, and Lord knows the jobs are available, that even if they stay eligible for Medicaid, it'd be a wild success because mm-hmm. it would be injecting one and a half to three billion dollars of economic activity into our into our economy, which is exactly what we need. So it's uh, it's gaining momentum. There are those who, you know, who don't like it, but um, uh, it's it's the right thing to do at this time. And we're being very careful about sensible and compassionate exemptions so that we're not, you know, putting people in harm's, in harm's position. But really, this really applies to only the able-bodied population of those currently receiving Medicaid. Uh, Senator, let me ask you about this. Last time we tried to address some of the uh, criticisms that it was uh, heartless and, and, and mean and, uh, and that, you know, the, the people supporting the bill have no soul. And there's a, there's a new twist since the last time we talked. Uh, the New York, uh, New York Magazine's headline, Michigan's proposed Medicaid work requirement, comes with a racist twist. I uh, imagine you saw the... Uh, op-ed in the free press recently from a columnist that said this was basically a racist bill. Are you concerned at all about provisions that uh, the, the provisions that are discussed in those pieces? I am sorry to report to you, Scott, that uh, I'm a big believer in in the adage you always find what you're looking for, and mm-hmm. there's a there's a there's a group of folks, uh, not just in Michigan but in this country, who choose to look at everything through the filter of racism. They're the ones that I believe are the ones that prom- promote racism, not you and not me. This, they're concerned because we, 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 we are providing a provision that if in a given county, if the unemployment rate is above a certain level, that people on Medicaid will be exempted from the workforce uh, requirement uh, until the unemployment rate got down to a different level. Well, they're, they don't think that's uh, uh, granular enough. They want to go down even further to a granular level. And so here's the ridiculousness of it. Uh, Detroit is in Wayne County. I mean, I don't see any reason why people in Wayne that live in Detroit can also be evaluating uh, job opportunities throughout Wayne County, just like your neighbors and my neighbors do today. Mm-hmm. They'd like it applied to the city. Well, how granular do you want to get? How about if we apply it to the household? And if the household <laughs> has an unemployment rate above 10%, that, uh, then they're exempted. Well, then people would just not work, and so the household is a high unemployment, and therefore they're exempted. It's a ridiculous notion on its face 
And it just goes to show you how far people will go to, uh, you know, to demonize things that make sense. So I'm, I reject the notion completely. I suspect it'll come up again this week, uh, and uh, I'm prepared to address it. <laughs> and and waiting for the next uh, line of attack. It's it's uh, right. if it's not heartless, it's uh, again it's it's racist, and there'll be something else that that comes up next week. I would imagine. Yeah. All right, State Senator Mike Shirky, we don't have enough time. There's an issue we'll just kind of tease and say next time I do want to talk about uh, the, uh, the possibility of a proposal on the November ballot, which is still some ways away, that could legalize the recreational use of marijuana and whether or not there might be action before that time. But that is a, a large can of worms uh, to open at this point in our talk. So we'll, we'll tease that and, and just let people know that that's an issue we'll get to next time. Scott, I'd, I'd like to not wait two weeks to get back on and talk about that. This is a terrific opportunity for an object lesson in our Constitution. And what does a citizen initiative mean? And what are the options that are provided by the Constitution and how to re- respond to it? So I'm uh, looking forward to that, and that'll pretty much consume what our next interview, I hope. Yep, perfect. Excellent. State Senator Mike Shirky. Again, you can find him online, SenatorMikeShirky.com, or Senator Mike Shirky on Facebook serving the 16th State Senate District that is Branch, Hillsdale, and Jackson Counties. Senator, enjoy the uh, the arrival of spring weather across this great state. Will do, Scott. Thank you. Thanks, Senator. That's Senator Mike Shirky. I'm Scott Bertram. Find more of our interviews on our SoundCloud page, soundcloud.com slash Radio Free Hillsdale.